Glory, hallelujah. It's another beautiful, beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always a blessing for every last one of us. Every last one of us to continue to seek Him first. Not second, not third, but always, always seek Him first. He should always be number one in your life. Praise and worship should always be on the fruit of your lips each and every day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I would love for every last one of my sisters and my brothers right now to stop what you're doing right now. Or even if you're at work right now, just, just meditate for yourself. Just start giving him thanks and praise and go. Don't be ashamed because you're at work. Don't be ashamed because you're at the grocery store. Don't be ashamed if you're at the gym. Stop right now for 60 seconds and give Jesus the praise and the worship right now. Seek him right now glorify him right now adore his holy name right now in the mighty name of jesus because he is your everything he is your everything you should always pour your heart your faith and your soul into jesus each and every day no matter if you're going through something no matter if your situation still the same no matter if your circumstances still the same no matter if your tone is still dull no matter if you're still in the midst of your storm you should always seek him. You should always praise him. You should always glorify him each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we serve an awesome, awesome, and a mighty, mighty, mighty faithful God. Amen. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. And today's text is coming from Matthew 6, verse 33. That's Matthew 6, verse 33. And today's message is, when enough is enough. When you're tired of going through the same thing. When you're tired of going through the hurt. When you're tired of going through the setbacks. All I can tell you to do right now, my brothers and my sisters, you need to seek Jesus right now. The word of God says, seek him first. And everything else will be added. I know right now I know you're tired. I know you right now, you, you have had enough. You say, you know what? Enough is enough of going through this. I am tired of going through this. Mayhem. I am tired of going through these difficult situations. If you're not seeking Jesus, that's why you're going through it. I just want to encourage every last one of you. If you're going through something right now, and if you're sick and tired, if you're sick and tired right now, you need to start seeking Him. And you need to seek Him with all your might, heart, and soul. Just don't seek Him because you're in trouble or you need, but you want to seek Him faithfully. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I just can't thank you enough that you was able to blow life inside our body today, that you bless us with our strength today and our health today. I just can't thank you enough for the help that you're going to provide today. I just can't thank you enough today, oh, Heavenly Father God, because your grace and your mercy, I just can't thank you enough that you carry every last one of our sins on, on your back. I just can't thank you enough. No matter what I go through, no matter what I'm facing, I can always call and depend on you. I just can't thank you because today, today my, today, my Heavenly Father God, I know I have some brothers and sisters right now, and they're tired of going through what they're going through. Enough is enough. And I believe right now they are seeking you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I just can't thank you enough because when they start seeking you, you're going to add everything else to them, what they've been asking for right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my Father God, we just can't thank you enough for another beautiful, blessed day today that we can call and depend on you. No matter what, our faith and our trust is in your hand. And as long as our faith and our trust in your hand, we're going to be okay. And I just can't thank you enough in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for you all to turn your Bibles to Matthew 6. And we're going to read verse 33. It's Matthew chapter 6 and we're going to read verse 33 and if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it shout out amen amen let's begin but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well but seek first he say seek second third fourth or fifth seek Seek first his kingdom 
not his hand, his kingdom and his righteousness. And everything else will be given to you as well. And I know right now, my sisters and brothers, I know enough is enough. I know you're tired of going through what you're going through right now. I know that you are fired up right now. And the reason why you think about what you're going through, what you're going through right now, ask yourself this million-dollar question right now. Have you been seeking Jesus? Have you been seeking his kingdom? Have you been putting Jesus first place in your life? And if you haven't, and if you haven't, I want to encourage you right now today to seek him first right now. He has to be number one, not number two. Your husband, your wife, your job, your kids, your car, none of that can come first. None of that can come first. Jesus has to be number one in your life. And right now, you have to make Jesus number one in your life. And once you make Jesus number one in your life, number one priority in your life, then everything else will be added. And I know right now somebody going through a marriage situation right now i know some of y'all probably putting your husband first or your wife first and if you want jesus to renew your marriage to renew your strength in your marriage you got to seek him right now you got to forgive him you got to forgive her you got to let the water lie up on the bridge and move on but first of all you're gonna have to seek jesus you're gonna have to seek him and once you seek him watch how he renew your marriage because the word of God is giving you a promise that once you seek him first in his righteousness, everything else will be added. So whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is, whatever it is that you are tired of, that you are sick, that you are sick, that you are sick and tired of right now, if you start seeking him first in his righteousness, he's promising you right now that everything will be added to you. What are you what are you uh, missing in life? What are you tired of? Right now, ask yourself, what are you tired of? And if you're tired, and if you're tired of being lonely, seek him. He'll send your husband and wife. If you're tired of going through your situation, seek him. He'll send you to help. If you're tired of going through setbacks after setbacks after setbacks, <clears throat> seek him. He will deliver you. Are you sick and tired of going through the pain and the hurt? Seek him. He will send you joy and he will also send you happiness. Seek him. Seek him. I know right now, I know you're saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. Are you tired of going through the same job situation? Seek him. He will make sure that he will send you the right job. The job going to know your name. The job going to know your email. They going to know your phone number. They going to call you right now today, but you got to seek him. You got to seek him. Number one, and I tell anybody this, no matter what, Jesus is always number one in my life. He comes before my wife, my kids, my job. He is number one, no matter what. Yes, I love my family, but Jesus, I love more. Jesus, I love more. He is always, always, always number one in my life. And I'm always seeking him no matter what I go through, no matter what my pain or my situation is. Because as long as I know I'm seeking him, he already don't added everything else that I'm asking him for. He's going to do the same thing for you. So when enough is enough, I know right now I know somebody saying enough is enough of this. Enough, enough of this hurting. Enough is enough of this crying. Enough is enough of this misery. Enough is enough of me being disappointed. Enough is enough of me going through what I'm going through. I'm tired. I am tired. I'm sick and tired. And if, if, and if that is you, and if that is you, right now, you need to start seeking him in his kingdom right now. Do not seek his hand. Because he's not a handout. Seek him in his kingdom. In his righteousness. Because he is righteous. He is loving. He is faithful. He's going to add everything else to you. Whatever it is, whatever area that you need him in, he's going to add to you. He's going to add things onto you that you didn't even ask for or pray for. He's going to do that for you. But you have to seek him first. But it's enough, it's enough. Come on, now I'm talking to somebody right now today. Somebody right now has been pleading, been pleading, been 
hurting, been going through things, been going through setbacks. Seek him first. Once you seek him in this kingdom, in this righteousness, everything else will be added to you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus that my sisters and my brothers right now, that's what they're about to do. You're about to start seeking him. I know you are. I know that you're tired. I know that you're tired. Do yourself a favor. Seek him right now and you will see the change what Jesus is going to do for you. You will see the change in your marriage. You will see the change in your finances. You will see the change in yourself. You will see the change in all the hurt and disappointment that you've been going through. But once you start seeking him, you're going to see what he's going to do for you. Amen. Amen. And I believe and declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That's what's happening right now in Jesus' holy name. Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray in a simple little prayer that we already know that you're working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. But most of all, y'all, when enough is enough, I know y'all saying right now, enough is enough of going through this. Seek him. And you will see what he'll add to your life. Amen. Stay blessed. This minister LT. I love y'all.